Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to discuss about the, the basic types of the wearing for residential, commercial, and industrial building with the electrical uh, required electrical stories. Now, we're in unit five. I have not touched on unit two and unit three. It's related with the practical. So we can uh, we can complete it whenever you're back to college together. And then about the unit four is about the electrical uh, symbols. So that electrical symbols will be covered along with this unit five. When, you, uh, when we are talking about the design part. And then uh, this uh, slide will be a little bit different from the slide that I've uploaded in the VLE. Uh, I'm focusing on the main uh, part here, main uh, part, only on the designing part. I'm not uh, concerned about other uh, the introductions and all. So this other introductions and all, you can have a look at it for yourself. You can read the, uh, uh, slash yourself, which is uploaded in the VAD. Now, uh, to design, now in the important design in electrical uh, is uh, the first one is the illumination. Whenever we talk about the electrical, like uh, in the residential building or commercial building, we are talking about the main part is about the illumination. And then after that, it comes about the cooling load, and then about the other uh, other loads like uh, okay, like HVAC systems, the heating and ventilating, and air conditioning, air conditioning, and all. So about the illumination, and now we have to consider a few factors here, and then we have to calculate the number of required illumination, number of required electrical fittings in that particular room. Now, this uh, here, the N is given by E times A divided by O times the coefficient of utilization times the maintenance factor. Now, E, now this empirical formula is to calculate the number of required uh, lamp or number of required electrical fittings. The fittings means the lighting point, okay? The light, uh, the light points required in that particular room. So, E is the illumination required illumination, the unit of illumination is uh, lux, and then the area of the particular room, and then divided by the lumen output of that one lamp times coefficient of utilization times the maintenance factor. So let's see what's mean by the maintenance factor and uh, coefficient of the utilization factor. So while calculating the illumination by lumen method, one must know the following terms. The maintenance factor gives an estimate of how the lighting condition will detroit through use. Now this maintenance factor, we are taking care of the future. Now, if we consider that maintenance factor as one and then calculate, assuming that MF is equal to one, then the, your number of lamp required May, be, uh, may reduce, but uh, if you think about the future because of some dirt or aging of the lamp, is the output will not be same as it's new. So now, when uh, that efficiency is not that hundred percent, so our um, the floor, the the space lighting will not that bright. Will be not as part of the required illumination. Now, in order to get the required illumination, we have to consider the maintenance factor less than one. And usually we assume it to be 0 0.8, but it may not be true for all the calculations. So it depends from uh, okay, designer, like in other, uh, they may use 0 0.75, so some may use 0 0.9, and other may not use the maintenance factor. And then other, important factor again is about the coefficient of utilization. Now this is dependent on the wall uh, painting. Let's see here, if it is uh, the bright color uh, walls and ceilings, then you can consider that uh, coefficient of utilization as 0 0.64 or 0 0.4 also here. And it depends upon the types of lighting, the standard direct reflectors, which means our light is uh, fixed directly uh, towards the floor. And then fluorescent lamp heating, okay, fluorescent lamp heating also is uh, 
it's also uh, illuminating in all directions. You have fluorescent lamp and then it's illuminating in all direction. And then about the semi-direct lighting. Now you must have seen about the, uh, you must have seen about the, um, in the, or say, uh, in, I think uh, I forgot that one. Okay, give me a minute, I'll remember that one. Application of the semi-direct uh, lighting uh, is in, okay, uh, I got that is in uh, snowcore, like in the snowcore table, there's a light, lights uh, projected down, right? There's the semi-direct lighting. And then again, we have enclosed sphere or diffuse lighting, then indirect fittings, where the indirect lighting, you can see that one in the, uh, in the conference hall or in the airplanes, where you will not see the electrical fittings, but you you will have the illumination. So these things. Now, depending upon this, the types of lighting here, types of the lighting fittings here, you can select the uh, illumination. Uh, I mean the utilization factor here. And then if the wall uh, paintings are dark, then we have to take the coefficient of utilization very minimum. Now. This coefficient of utilization and the maintenance factor plays important role in determining the number of lamps. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, before we go into the some of the excesses, uh, let's check the required illumination. So illumination required in lux, factories and workshop. If it's rough work, it's 150 lux. Medium work, like machine parts, engine assembly, vehicle body assembly. Then we the illumination required is 300 lux, and then fine work like radio or telephone equipment, typewriter, and office machine assembly. If it's in this kind of uh, working place, then the illumination required is uh, 700 lux. Very fine work, assembly of very small precision mechanism and instruments. For example, uh, in electronics chip and all, then it's required 1,500 lux. And in the powerhouse, like boiler house, then turbine house, conveyor house, switch gear, and transformer chambers, it's not required much. So, illumination is also less. And we have so on. Okay, just have a look. These are the standards. And then, okay, you have access here a small assembly shop, 15 meter long by uh, 9 meter width, and 3 meter up to trusses is to be illuminated to a level of 300 lux. Now this is like, a, let's say, let's assume the illumination required is 300 lux. It might be the classroom and all, okay, it's assembly hall. Take coefficient of utilization and maintenance factor is 0 0.75 and uh, 0 0.8 respectively. Calculate the number of lamp required to illuminate the whole area if the lumen output of the lamp selected is 2,800 lumens. Now this 2,800 lumen uh, is out, lumen output of the person lab. So now everything is given. We have to substitute that in the illumination formula here. In this formula, E is how much it? Then area is 15 by nine. Three meters is also given, but that is the height of that uh, room. So we are not calculating the volume. We are calculating the area. So it should be length times breadth. So 15 times 9 divided by the lumen output given is 28,000, no, 2,800, and times the coefficient of utilization is 0 0.75 times the maintenance factor is 0 0.8. So if you calculate this, you'll get, uh, you'll get 24.107 number of lamps. So that 24.107 we will not have that 0 0.10 lamp, right? So instead of that one, we have to round it off to next higher level. So we have to take it 24, 25. Our calculated is, we got 24.107. So we have to take it to 25. Now we got 25 numbers. Now how to place that one in that particular room? Whether to place it together or to place it equally spaced. Now, required the, the designer should take this decision. We have to place all the lamp in the equal space. Now, while placing these things in the equal space, we are, here we have odd number. So, 
you will be short of one or two like points. So in that place, you can add few more numbers, but do not try to reduce the number of lamp from this record number. If you are increasing the number of record lamp, then uh, it's fine. But if you are reducing this one, then you may not achieve this required illumination. If we go more than this, then it's okay. In the future, because of the aging of the light and all, it may come down. Uh, but uh, if from the beginning itself, if you're not able to meet this required illumination, then we are failing with our design. And then, okay, and uh, the, uh, the second exercise, so you can try it yourself. An illumination of 50 lux is to be okay. You can just try it yourself. And then in the next session, uh, we are going to uh, discuss about the scope of the design aspects. Now we are going to, uh, where we will be looking into this topic in the next video.